Hi, my name is Gurpreet and uh, I'm field nurse and clinical manager for our company. So we're going to show today for bad technique for most of the clinicians so they can follow the clean and dirty area, how to keep it clean and dirty separate to prevent infections. So when we enter the patient's home, we should have three things in our hand. So we should have a blue chart. We have a paper towel and we have a polythene bag where we're going to put our trash. So make sure we keep our bag on the hard surface area. Table, chair, make sure the areas are clean. You can ask the patient where you can put your bag in the hard surface area. Is it better for to keep it clean? So now I put my bag in the middle of the chuck and I keep my trash bag on the one corner. So when I keep have my paper towel in my hand. So I keep my gloves on the one side of the bag pocket and my hand sanitizer and soap on the other side of the pocket. So I'm gonna take out my soap and I will ask the patient where I can wash my hands. So I will go in the kitchen and wash my hands and I have the paper towel, I wash my hands, clean it up and turn off the faucet and I put that in trash and I put my soap in the pocket. So now I have take out my hand sanitizer. So if anything I touch between so I can clean my hands. So I'm gonna open up my bag and get my vital signs equipment out. So while I'm doing that, I will start asking the patient how the patient is doing. So while I do my stuff, so I wanna make sure the patient is comfortable and relaxed and I'm gonna take out my clean wipes as well too. So make sure I have it out when I need it to clean. I'm gonna close my bag. So now I will check our patient's blood pressure first. So I check the blood pressure. And then after that, when I finish checking the blood pressure, I will take one wipe and clean it at the same time. So because this will dry while I finish my work. So this is goes to the clean side now. So I leave my wipe there and I will take open my pocket where I keep my temperature and all those things. I will check the patient temperature at the same time I will clean it. I put it on site. And if your company has required to check their pulse and with the pulse ox, you check with the pulse ox. And so you will measure their oxygen level too as well. So clean it afterwards, put it on the clean surface area. So now you can clean this bag from the side. So you're gonna put, because this will should be dried up now. So you're gonna put everything back. And you're gonna wrap it up in your blood pressure cup. And as well, you're gonna clean your stethoscope. After each use, for each patient, you should clean your supply each time. So now I'm gonna choose hand sanitizer because I cannot go into the bag without cleaning my hands. So I clean my hands, make sure hands are dry. I will open my bag, put my stuff back in the bag and close that compartment of the bag. So this is the bag technique. If we need patient has the wound care, we have to provide the wound care. So same thing, your, your hands are clean at this point. So you can just take out the supply one time to take out your gauze, your measurement tape, and your four by four, and your saline, and write the uh, date on the saline if you're opening new bottle. Anything left over supply should leave it with the patient. After that, when you're start starting the wound care, you should have two pair of gloves and I keep my gloves on the side. I will take out two pairs and I will take off the dressing with the one pair of gloves and I will remove my gloves while I finish removing the dressing. So then I will open up my supply which when I take it out from the bag at the same time I'm gonna just put the second pair of gloves and apply the clean dressing on the patient. So my bag is all ready to go so I'm gonna clean my hands the last time and put my hand sanitizer in the bag and I clean it, make sure it's dry and talk to the patient so you're ready to go. So you're gonna pick up your bag and this one has to be covering up from the end of the side to the corners to in and put it in the bag. There's no biohazard stuff in this bag. Just explain 
to the patient and ask patient if they are okay to put this in their trash because there is no biohazard. So if patient is okay with it, you put in their trash bag or you can go just take it to your home, put it in the trash. And this is end of the bad technique.